Welcome to Charts Today Energy. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 22nd of March comes to you from London. And um, we start by looking at uh, international energy markets. I'm doing this on um, Bloomberg. You could easily be doing this on Thomson Reuters Icon or a feed like DTN uh, or um, uh, even uh, Teletrader and, you'll, you, and, and, and many more and you'll find this layout in the layouts library so all you have to do is go to the library and choose the feed that you have and you should find the morning call so if you go to Trayport you'll find the the morning call um, feed so you can you this layout so you can actually just copy me by downloading that same layout that I'm using add in um, your Bloomberg's list or your Thomson Reuters icon list again you'll find these in watch list library so you can just follow me straight away out of the box and the system that I use here is um, a long-term weekly 1% log scale point and figure chart a daily chart these are all cloud charts uh, a half percent point and figure chart and a 60 minute chart and a 0.1 percent on the 60 minute so this gives me a long term a medium term and a short term view of the market just by going through and uh, looking at each chart so really really valuable now we start with Brent crude uh, the major driver in energy prices of course is crude oil and um, we start with Brent crude and really significantly at the moment we're just we found support on the cloud uh, a few days ago end of last week and we've just this week come back below those levels so this is actually looking like a, a trend change whereby um, Brent is turning bearish in the medium term very unusual the first half of the year certainly the first quarter of the year we normally see strong um, rising crude oil prices so the fact that we are going lower and making lower lows and now below the cloud um, is worrying certainly a sustained period below $51 a few days at this level um, would be bad if we move below 50 that's the psychologically important uh, $50 level on Brent crude that would be significant and so already we are just nudging new lows there uh, interestingly we have still got the long-term upside targets on this chart but now new downside targets emerging we've got a, a medium term target of 48.20 and if we look at this uh, uh, shorter term 60 minute chart uh, this is log scale remember you've got 47 48 48 we've got 50.01 and 48.58 so we've got downside potential of six percent three and a half percent three point three percent and multiple targets that's giving us real conviction with the multiple targets that we are going to see crude oil prices falling lower and if we look at WTI the picture of course is very similar same sort of multiple downside targets anywhere between three and seven percent downside looking pretty bearish we've just activated a really big downside target of 37 uh, 37 that's 21 percent downside actually on the uh, medium term chart so this selling thrust has now been activated with this move below if we close out here today that's activating that downside and that is um, pretty worrying for Brent so uh, for WTI and so we're actually now just seeing crude prices generally both Brent and WTI both bearish. Uh, taking a look at uh, US nat gas prices, we are holding on to this $3 level. Uh, we do have a new downside target of 296 just emerging on the short term chart. So again, um, we are just seeing uh, changes going on here. Bearish in the medium term, bullish in the long term, just um, the short term is bullish, but uh, we are seeing some pressure creeping in there as well. Taking a look at heating oil, uh, also bearish below the cloud here, um, and taking a look at Arbob, just finding support on the cloud, so maybe just looking a little bit better and above on and on all three time frames. Taking a look at coal, um, we, we're looking at uh, API 2 here. Uh, move below the cloud is bearish in the medium term. We have got downside targets here of um, anywhere as low as $44.50, $55. We've seen a lot of volatility in the coal price. It was rising up quite nicely, but we are seeing the likes of a head and shoulders just showing through on this pattern now, starting to see downside potential at least 10%. And on the medium term target, we touch our, on the short term chart, we are just nearing that 61.57 target. That was actually given back at uh, 64. So if you're trading coal, you need to really keep an eye on these 
targets but the short term picture is is pretty bearish even though we've made this longer term transition taking a look at emissions uh, we see here we're bearish on all three charts below the cloud new downside targets here for four seven 4.76 euros we're seeing that's two and a half percent downside emissions just not able to get out of this range for between anywhere the last year anywhere between four euros and six and a half euros a big trading range um, so really quite key there but we're seeing on the short term we are just bouncing on support right now uh, taking a look at uh, uh, MBP, this is the ICE contract. Uh, we see here that we're below on all three charts. We've got a 5% downside, as much as 17% downside on the medium term. Pretty bearish. And in a minute, we'll start to look at the uh, OTC charts. Uh, looking at Dutch gas TTF, again, exchange traded. We're seeing this is pretty bearish as well with as much as 5% downside. Taking a look at currencies, a really big driver in um, commodity prices. We see here that we're below on the dollar. The dollar has really just been tested this support level lately so we really are just testing that at the moment so we're bullish long term still good upside targets but medium term we are just seeing a sell-off and short term we've got a 0.6 percent downside dollar does seem to be finding support around this 99.50 level and certainly that's the area that we need to hold in order to hold this support we may well just find that we bounce on the lagging line here we found support on the cloud at the top last time maybe we will find some support here we need to see but if we make a lower low remember the Dow theory tells us if we make a lower low then um, that would be significant the failure to make a lower low even if we just find support at the same level would be as good as a, a higher low so that would be quite bullish so it's all about holding this 99.50 level on the dollar index Conversely, the euro is finding resistance at about 108. We're sitting here at the moment on the cloud, on the lagging line, and we are still bearish long term with a lot of bearish targets hanging over us. So the euro is not out of the woods by any means, although we are seeing some short term bullishness. Sterling. A lot of you looking at sterling charts if you're trading uh, UK energy. Sterling, we're seeing just coming away here against the dollar, um, an important factor in the mix as well. Uh, has been rising pretty strongly over the last week. We've been above the cloud. Nice trend there after the Fed announcement. And also we uh, saw in the UK inflation numbers higher. But interestingly, we're not quite convincingly through this cloud yet. So uh, we've had this before will we stay above this cloud and of course the long-term chart we still have some very big long-term targets hanging over us 102 uh, 180 uh, 10, 108 10, uh, 116 113 so we are seeing some quite big downside targets there and we need to be aware of that euro sterling just looking at that cross uh, euro has been weaker sterling rising against the euro um, just of late but of course the sterling chart has been weak generally all round um, so to now taking a look at uh, European energy this data all coming from Tradeport Jewel Direct um, you can uh, either on Tradeport Jewels on SAS or on Direct you can go straight to the updated chart if you want so from uh, Jewel you can just literally go straight to the updated chart and I'll show you how you configure these charts um, shortly I'm actually using Trayport as my feed um, but I'm using Updater's own OTC energy data, which has got longer histories. Um, but you may have your own longer histories on your Trayport database. Um, we'll go through that at the end of this session. So taking a look at uh, MBP on the, um, the, the front month's chart, bearish. We've got downside of 5% on the OTC. That's what we were sawing on the exchange contract as well. And about 17% downside here too. Bearish below the cloud. See what lovely long histories here for these weekly charts. Going right back to 2010 and updated. So that's really, really valuable that you can actually start to do this analysis straight out of the box. If you've got a new dual system and you don't have the data, you can stitch it in with updater's data and then have the dual data updating your charts from there on. And so really, really powerful. We see here winter summer gas is also below we've got bearishness there looking at the prompt market very heavily down today um, and just taking a look then at uh, the day ahead market also looking pretty bearish um, uh, down heavily as well taking a look at uh, TTF high cow we see here Dutch gas really 
bearish, just that big slide that's been going on. We've got a downside target of 9.87 there, so 9 euros 87. That's 36 per downside, 36 percent. And looking at the uh, short-term chart, we see these targets really keep creeping in here. 15.03, 14.57, 15.30. Not a good picture. Keep an eye on those um, uh, shorter-term charts. Looking at seasonal gas, much the same picture. We've got short-term targets of between 1 and 7 percent. We're bearish below the cloud here on all three. We've found long-term resistance here, so that's really quite key that we've um, seen that below the cloud. And looking at the prompt market, we see also uh, we've got lots of downside targets here, all on your OTC data. So just keep an eye on these charts in real time. And of course, if you need shorter-term targets, go to the one-minute charts. Looking at uh, NCG, much the same picture, 2.7, 3.5% downside, a massive 23% downside still to go. That target given way back at 18 euros, we're now at 15.85. You cannot ignore these targets. We found resistance on the long-term chart, bearish all round. Looking at gas pool, much the same picture here, uh, downside target of 16% and short-term targets of 7% downside on the OTC. Remembering that your OTC data may be a, a little bit better. The more brokers you're connected to, the more data you'll have. Your targets might end up just slightly different, but all in all, they'll be similar. Looking at uh, power markets, we start with German power, the calendar chart. So here we see German power made a good recovery in December, flat on the 60-minute chart, and now we're breaking to new lows. So this um, not looking good for energy markets, breaking down again. And we're seeing here, uh, although we've got a good upside target here on the uh, long-term chart, we're starting to see new downside targets. This one at 28, 27 was given back at 30, and uh, it's only got another half percent to run. 28, 40 was given back here at 29, 30. That's now been met. We don't have any new downside targets. You need to go to the one-minute chart to look at those. Um, taking a look at quarters, we see here downside target on German power quarters. Again, we're bearish in the medium and short term. And taking a look at the months, again, downside pressure here as well. So on all um, contracts, we're seeing that. These are all continuous charts, of course. Updater stitches all of those contracts together to give you long histories that you can analyze. Taking a look at French baseload, of course, really catastrophic uh, failure since that big rise in price. So we see this uh, weekly chart really looking higher wire um, on the French nukes there. But we're seeing back below the cloud now, downside targets of um, 32.66 there on that uh, half percent chart. And if we make new lows, that's taking us a lot lower. So uh, French power looking pretty bearish and we're below the cloud, of course. Again, you'll potentially have better histories on your own uh, Trayport data. And, and then we see here um, bearish below the cloud as well. Um, so um, just keep an eye on that. And then on the, um, the months near, we're below the cloud here too. So just pretty bearish all around. Dutch base load just turning negative, a bit slower than the other markets. Um, the downside targets, all that were given um, quite some way away back in the 30s. We're now in the, in the, the mid-30s. We're now in the low 30s. And we've got about 3% potential downside still to run there. Dutch power just starting to fall away as well. So uh, even on the medium-term chart here, uh, we're seeing here we've still got potential of 3 and 5% downside. So keep an eye on those uh, charts. Uh, Italian power is... Uh, still bullish above the cloud on the lagging line, but uh, again, we are seeing resistance being hit as well. And um, again, if you've got TFS data coming in, your Italian charts will probably be better. And um, Spain base load, um, again, we're just seeing here not falling yet away as quickly. The key thing is uh, that most energy markets are really looking pretty bearish, and that's been driven very much by this oil price looking really worrying now that we're seeing that breakdown in, um, in in Brent. So keep an eye on that. That's the main driver. And of course, the strong dollar, a weak dollar at the moment is um, should be giving us strong commodities, but it's not. So that's quite key. If you want to know how um, to do this in your updater system, as I said, you can go and just download this exact same layout. It will read all your trade port histories just straight away out of the box into updater. Uh, and then what you can do if, you, if you're um, new to updater, if you don't have a lot 
sort of history, um, you can use the updater energy feed stitching into your trayport data. But if you've got uh, good trayport data, then use that. But this gives you some options. I'm using the uh, um, updater energy feed here with our own OTC data because I don't have. Um, a connection to all the brokers on Tradeport. I'm not trading the energy market myself, but it does allow me to do the charts. And if you've got a new dual system yourself and you don't have the histories, that solves that problem too. So just take a look, download a trial if you're not already, download this watch space and start following me each day and keep an eye on those markets. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.